This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, I'm 10 Hundred. Today, I'm painting this wall behind me. Up until about 10 minutes ago, I had absolutely no idea I was gonna be painting this wall. But this is Sergio. He throws the mural festival. He got me this wall. I'm supposed to be painting at another school at another wall, and I thought it started today, but it's not for three more days. And I was like, what am I gonna do in Miami for three days? Hmm, what could I possibly do? He's like, don't worry, bro. Got you a wall. Thanks, bro. But I do have three random subscribers who are gonna be helping me out on this mural. This is Andrew. Hi. This is Maddie, and this is Brett. You guys ready to paint this mural with no plan, no paint, and no concept art? Huh? Absolutely. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> also, I got a couple more helpers. Juniper, don't leave me hanging. Okay, fine, rude. <laughs> and wifey. <laughs> I can't believe I was really invited to actually do this. This is incredible. It was at this moment that he oh. knew. Oh. See, this is why it pays to have random subscribers helping you out. You guys got this. Sorry, I'm filming. I'm busy. I would help, but you know. Just so you know, I called out of work to be here today. Hopefully my boss doesn't see this video. I might get fired. Okay, so I have a lot of scrap cans here and we just gotta kind of find what colors are available. I didn't get to put in a paint order, but hopefully there's some good ones in here. It's a little bit nerve wracking having no concept art, no plan, not sure what colors I have, but usually before I come to a mural festival, I spend a day or two working on a piece of concept art. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'm out here helping Ten Hun paint this wall. Don't tell him I don't know how to paint and I'm afraid of heights and can't get on ladders. It'll be fine, totally fine. I gotta tell you, it's a little bit daunting because that's a lot of space with no plan. I'm gonna have my helpers here start doodle gritting out this wall. You guys ready to do this thing? Let's do it. Grit it out. While my subscribers worked on the doodle grid, I busted out the iPad and tried to come up with a concept for this mural. Luckily, I had little Juniper helping me out. All right, my awesome subscribers slash helpers did this whole doodle grid for me, looking nice. So I'm gonna start sketching my concept art up onto this wall. I finally finished the sketch. I have an idea, I have a plan. We'll see how this thing goes. So you guys ready to put the concept sketch up on the wall? Let's do it. You might think it might be super nerve wracking to let somebody else paint on your mural, but I painted a whole heck of a lot of murals at this point, and honestly, just having some help is super nice. Plus, if somebody does mess something up, it's so easy to just paint over it. It was different. Um, I've never done anything like that before, so it was cool. <laughs> All right, my Doodle Grid champions have officially helped me get this concept art up on the wall faster than I've ever done in my life. Now, I think we're gonna start working on some fill colors, and these guys are gonna just like start bombing out this whole mural with the solid fill colors so I can come in and shade it, come in and do the details. This is how I wanna work from now on. This is dope. Thank you guys. This guy come to Miami. Look at this, y'all. My mural is getting painted and I am doing nothing at all. I have officially made it. Mom, I made it! My helpers are like educating each other on how to paint in the background right now. <laughs> There's like a spray paint lesson going on. The students have become the master. process is kind of going like, I come in and do the outlines and define the shape, then I pick out a color, then I hand it to one of these guys, and they fill in the shape. Let me tell you, it's the good life. Oh, bro, you're not supposed to do it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Don't you dare go outside the lines though. Three strikes, you're out, bro. All right, got two. I've already had to have two stern talkings to you. <laughs> How's the leaf life, Brett? Chill. He's the green machine. <laughs> Thank you so much for driving all the way from Orlando. Appreciate you, appreciate you. It's the end of day one. We made a lot of progress, lots of fill colors. This is interesting because I never work this way. I never start by just filling in solid colors on the whole mural and then coming back. I usually like fully render one section, move on to the next section. I work like chunk by chunk, but this is a whole new thing because I got helpers. So we're gonna go chill out, have some fun, and we will see you guys tomorrow for day two. So Alex, what are we doing here? Little girl, very dreamy. Lots of way. <laughs> Painting the top of the mural from the ground. That's what's up, bro. This is some style. Yeah. It's nice how your blue almost matches the school's blue. Yeah, I saw that. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. I got saccharine, sweet, beautiful stuff. All right, my beautiful people, it is day two at the school. So we're gonna keep painting on this mural, kind of continue doing what we were doing yesterday so that I can utilize Andrew's help as Good much help. as possible. <laughs> so let's get started. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Listen, Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. 
I've had my website on Squarespace for years and years. It's super easy. You just take your content, drop it into their amazing templates, and boom, you have a website. You don't need to know how to code. It's simple, baby. Tons of super sweet features to make your website look as good as possible. But if you do run into any issues, they have 24-7 customer support. So what are you waiting for? Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, we're going to be doing the background now. We've been trying to figure out what we're going to do for the background because we have limited paint colors, but I got this kind of like army green, so I might do just like a grassy horizon. And then we have a lot of like salmons and pinks and stuff, so maybe we'll do like, I don't know, the salmon sky. Basically, our background is based on can quantity, not on creative artistic decision making. Okay, so this is haze orange, and I'm kind of wondering if I can use this on the lenses of my guy over there to give him kind of an orangey haze glasses lens. I've never really used uh, transparent colors before, but I want to see if this will work. So let's give this a whirl. Maybe I should use a fat cap. This is risky maneuver. What will this haze orange look like if I make it the lenses? Here's the first spray, you guys. Wish me luck. Mmm, I don't think I like that. It's just gonna look brown. What can we do? Maybe I'll just repaint it in like a different colorway. That's what I usually do for lenses. But I've never really messed with the transparent paint before and not the jam. Maybe putting orange over blue was a bad decision. Okay, now I gotta fix that. It was certainly an interesting challenge working with colors that I didn't pick out myself. It's really lucky that Sergio had a decent variety of random cans for me to work with. Sometimes when you're limited in options and you simply have to work with what you have available, cool things can happen and you can make creative decisions you wouldn't have made in a different situation. heading home for the day. Thank you so much for all your help, bro. Thanks a lot. I'm real happy to be here. Yo, my boy Hayes is a dope artist. Go follow him on Instagram. Twitter, Instagram, whatever you need. You know, I'm there for you. Okay, it's day three. Today should be the last day. It's been awesome having the helpers, but now it's time for me to get down to the nitty gritty details and actually make this mural come to life. That's something I can really only do on my own. So hopefully the final day. Here we go. This is Mariano, he's a student at this school, he's into art, he's gonna help me do some fill-ins. You ready, dude? Hell yeah, let's go. I'm gonna show you the outline of the cloud and then you're gonna fill it in. So Mariano did a great job filling in that cloud. Now he's graduated to level two. He's gonna try and draw his own cloud kind of floating off of the mural here just in the middle of this wall. So it kind of extends the scene off of the canvas a little bit. Let's see how our boy Mariano does. Oh my God! Who let you do this? This is your future. I'm so happy she let you do it. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Getting the opportunity to bring my art to schools and bring some color, bring some imagination was such an incredible opportunity for me. It was also so cool to be able to paint with Mariano. I really hope this opportunity, painting this mural, will be something that he remembers and something that he's like, okay, I can do art, I can like maybe follow my passion and do something really cool with my creativity. So huge shout out to AWOL Mural Festival for making opportunities like this happen. Shout out to Angelus Paints for sponsoring the festival. This is 
just so cool. So this is Alex, he's painting right around the corner from me. And I had to use some clouds on my piece to kind of cover up some weird mishaps and running out of paint. And then I was like, bro, you got clouds in yours too. So what do you think, man? Should we wrap it around and join our two pieces? Definitely, let's match clouds. So we'll start here and then have it kind of come around this wall and just wrap around there and go over to my clouds over there. Sounds awesome. And we got our helper to fill in clouds. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Operation cloud control commence. You're gonna do the outlines and you're gonna do the one above the whiteboard, yeah? Okay, yeah, that's great. Awesome. And I'm just gonna stand here doing nothing. Team white cloud going strong. We got team pink cloud over here. A little bit more bubbly. Team ground support down here. All right, bro, so now that you're an artiste, you gotta name your piece. What do you call this cloud? Pervert. Pervert? <laughs> I like Herbert the cloud. You gotta give him a little smiley face or something. Collab, boom. All right, it turned out pretty good for showing up with no plan, no idea what my wall is, not even any idea where the school was. I was completely confused about this whole mural festival, but somehow I got a wall, I got something put together, and now I'm done. You guys wanna check it out? This one, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the mural behind me. Thank you to Arvita School for having me paint this wall, the faculty, the staff, the principal, and especially the kids. You guys made this such a magical experience. Thanks to Sergio and AWOL Festival for having me out. Mm, it was a good time. And a huge thank you to my patrons who make videos like these possible. You're the coolest. Thank you, patrons. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. I'm 100. I love Miami. I'll catch you guys on next one. Peace.